Okay, so press the cycle button to come out of USB mode. You need to go to, to game. Go to memory stick. Then you need to go to the 3.52 M33 creator icon and press X. Say this. It says 3.52 M33 firmware creator loading 1.5 firmware, which is the 150.pbp file which we copied over. Okay, that's writing it. Okay, loading 3.52 firmware. which is the 352.pbb file we copied over. OK, writing the main part of it is why it's taking so long. There we go. And it's like done. Press X to exit. So press the X button. <coughs> okay. Now the next step says to go back to your memory stick and go down to the 352M33 update icon and run that. So we'll go down there, see, Sarah? So press the X button. That appeared after we run, ran the first program. So we'll update your PSP to recognise the 3.52 software now. And that says you're about to update your PSP to 352M33. Press X to start the flashing process. So press X. It's difficult to see, but there is a percentage um, number there that's changing, saying writing files. Try to turn the darks off. Yeah. I'm sorry, you'll have to bear with me. This is a very this isn't a very decent camera, so... You have to take my word for it that the um, number is changing. It's just it's done that now. I mean, I'll say process finished. Press X to shut down the PSP. So press the X button, and it will turn your PSP off for you. Now you'll need to turn it back on manually. So press the power switch. And it will turn on. Now if you go over to System Information, System Settings first, then go down to System Information and press X. 
you'll see now it's 3.52M33. So that's the first step of installing 3.52M33 now. So now we need to install 3.52M33 update 2 to it. And I'll show you how to do that now. Now go back into USB mode on your PSP and then when you go back into USB mode go into your PSP slash game folder. Now you can delete the M33 creator and the M33 update 352 folders because you do not need them anymore because you've updated already. So press delete, press yes, I'll delete those for you, and it should be empty. Now you'll now need to download 3.52 update 2. So go to the first link on my video description again and scroll down and find the 352, 3.52, M332 update. And click on that. Scroll down again. Click on the download link. Click on open with WinRAR. This doesn't take any time at all. Click close. Now what you need to do is go to PSP and double click on the PSP folder here double click on the actually no what you need to do now is go back to your PSP game folder where you need to go up one so you're back so you're in your PSP folder and what you need to do is you need to copy this game 150 folder into your PSP folder so you should now have the game folder and the game 150 folder and uh, that's all you need to do now so now you, you can update it on your PSP OK, so press circle to come out of USB mode. You should go over to game again. Go to the memory stick and press X. There should be that, which is the... Well, it has no title. It's just that. And you press the X button on that. Now say 3.52 M332 update. I'll read that. So press X to do the update. So press the X button. Now say update successful. And that's it. It's so now updated to 3.52 M332. So it will restart your PSP. And then just to prove, I'll go to system information and system settings again. And there it is. 3.52 M332 and so now we have to do it to 3 I'm afraid so press circle and go back to USB connection again put it back in USB note mode now now in your PSP's game 150 folder you can delete the M33 update folder as since we've already used it so delete that ok now you need to go back to the website you need to go back to the custom firmware's page which is the first link scroll down until you find the 3.52 M333 update which is this one here click on that scroll down again click on the download link click open with again that doesn't take any time at all as well. There it is. Click close. Now double click on the PSP folder. Then you can double click on the Game 150 folder. Then you need to go back to your game one, your own Game 150 folder in your own PSP. And then you just drag and drop the M33 Update 3 folder into your Game 150 folder. There it is, and now we can execute it on the PSP.